Christina Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner and Arlen's Travels. How in the world are you guys doing today? Well, today I am going to do a stateroom tour of our mini suite D612. You see, I'm walking up to the door here and it unlocked because I have my medallion on. And, and the first thing you see are just three light switches. Let me get on in the door. But you can see this touch screen on the outside. Chris F and Arlen F, our last name starts with F. Welcome, I love this. And you can do service the stateroom or privacy please. And D612, and it is a mini suite. So I'm gonna walk on in here. You can see the three light switches. This light switch controls this end of the room. The middle light switch controls the middle of the room where the bed is. And then this other light switch controls the far side of the room. So we're gonna walk on in here. This is the closet, it is an open closet. You do not have to do a muster drill here on Princess anymore. Instead, you take your medallion, you go to your muster station that you can find listed right here on the back of your door. Our muster station is D. And there's somebody waiting there on embarkation day to scan your medallion. And then you come to your stateroom or you can use your smartphone and you can watch the safety video. And everybody has to do that before they set, set sail. So be sure to do that right when you get on board. It's easily done now. So much easier than physically going to you know, your muster station and sitting there and listening and learning how to put on your life vest, which are right up there, you know. So anyway, as I said, this is an open closet and we are on currently on a 15 day Paramount Canal full transit cruise. You can see I did not bring a ton of clothes, but I did bring some. Got a pop up laundry basket there and some shoes on the floor. And then you have, hi, that's me. Hello. <laughs> have a uh, a closet here, I don't know how messy this is, so pardon me if it is a little bit messy, but you have shelves. You can see my packing cubes that I always use, and I leave my packing cubes there, so when we pack to go home, all I have to do is stick whatever I have out in, close it, and, I'm, and put it in my suitcase, and I'm ready to go. And this, we, every stateroom has a safe. Uh, you choose the code. And then a mirror. And then all the mini suites, have a step up here, uh, have a combination tub and shower. I also wanted to show you, it does have two kind of hooks or nice sturdy hooks on the back of the door there. But every mini suite bathroom has a combination tub and shower and two shelves there and uh, shampoo and conditioner in one of those pump bottles and body wash in the other. So they do provide that. I bring my own, if I'm totally honest, you guys. Uh, three shelves there, nice sink with lotion and hand soap on the sink. Let me step up in here. Hand soap on the sink, and then with a shelf underneath also. Tissues, toilet paper. Don't bring your own toilet paper because if you try to do that, it will block up their system. <laughs> so go ahead and use their uh, use the what they provide. <laughs> and uh, then usually sometimes there's a mirror right here. There's not in this room. This room has two thermostats. You control the temperature in a mini suite. You'll have one here and I'll show you the other one on the other side of this shelving unit here. We have a little shelf here with a mirror on top. And then here's the princess dream bed. And it is a dream, I'm telling you, I love it. It can be separated into two beds if you'd rather. Uh, then you have two bedside tables with a shelf and two drawers in each one. On the Emerald Princess here, uh, the lamps do not have USB ports in them, at least in this room they don't. I have not heard that they do on any um, room on this ship. Sapphire, they do. Some ships they've switched out the lights, some ships they haven't. This, I was just working at my computer, kind of organizing my pictures, and this is what made me think, oh, I better do a room tour. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, my husband and I just lost our beautiful daughter, Kristen, which is 
She is right here. We lost this sweet daughter, Kristen, in November of this year, which is 2020, well, of last year, 2023. It's now January of 2024, uh, to natural causes. So this is our first cruise after that loss, and we are, uh, eh, you know, trying to heal on this cruise. Sorry, I will try not to cry. Anyway, here's the desk area uh, with a mirror. Here we go. There I am again. <laughs> I bring magnets, as you can see, to hang on the walls. Uh, these are magnets I got from Shutterfly, uh, when, and these are all the magnets I bought for this cruise. But when I do an Alaska cruise, I buy magnet hooks. Uh, yeah, be careful about the poundage that you buy on the magnet hooks. There is a wall covering over these uh, metal walls in here. Uh, the ceilings are metal. And the uh, magnet hooks will hold more if you hang it up from the ceiling than it will if you hang it from the wall. Just look at the specifications on the magnets, like on Amazon. You know, I can always put a link in the description box for what I get. So anyway, they do have a hair dryer. I bring my own. As you can see, I have kind of longish hair and the back of this will suck my hair in. So I don't use theirs very often. We bring our own and we have a telephone. You have two outlets here at the desk in this room uh, and American outlets, US outlets. And they do have a third prong some people ask me that all the time and we just brought a little to pull with a little extension to pull that out and I'll show you what else we bring over here uh, then we do have uh, two shelves under here I keep all of my makeup and hair accessories and everything in there then as you move over here uh, they used to they've now hung well here you can see the magnet hooks that I bring I did bring some here I was hanging my bathing suit on those. And my bathing suit will hang on these, both of these just fine. And I don't remember the weight of these, to be honest. You'd have to look at, on, look at it on Amazon. Anyway, uh, they now have their TVs hung on the wall. They used to sit up here on these shelves. And as you can see, with them moving the TVs to the walls, it opens up outlets for you. So there you can see where they had the TV Plus it opens up all of the storage space. So we've got all this storage, storage space and two outlets on this side. This is an ice bucket that we've asked him to fill every day. And as you can see, bless his heart, he does. Underneath here is a refrigerator. And this one works beautifully for all our water. <laughs> we did order water before we came on board, but we also have the plus package and we can get as much bottled water as we want. So my, our steward is so sweet and he's been making me towel animals, which is unusual, unusual for a princess cruise. Please know that. But he's made me this little penguin, these little crabs, this little dog. And check out these little birds, birds of a feather flock together. Well, they're rowing in their canoe together. <laughs> this is another crab. He's so cute. About every other night I've been getting a, a towel animal. And then th on this side is more storage, our backpacks, stuff we've bought, my backpack down there. This is my scooter. Uh, yes, a scooter will fit through a mini suites or any of the doors on board. I take the handlebars off though, and that's how it fits through our door. And you need to set your mouth right and you need to be careful, but it will go, it will go. I believe it. this is 21 inches. 20 inches wide and I believe the door is like 21 inches wide. It is a tight fit, but it does fit. Do not leave your scooter in the hallway, please. It's not allowed. So bring it in here and we have a, in your room, and we have a place to plug, plug it in right here. Two more outlets up here. Hershey bar, candy bar, Hershey candy bars and snacks up here. And the other TV and the other thermostat. You got two thermostats and two TVs. We are in the Panama Canal today. And that's what we'll go out there and look at in just a second. Here's the couch. I didn't straighten up before I started this, but this is a sleeper sofa. Oh, let's see. Goes under those two. So it is a full sleep sleeper sofa. This doesn't have anything that you can pull out. And some mini suites have a berth 
that can drop down from the ceiling. This one does not. You'll just have to ask Princess or your travel agent, whomever you book with, uh, to check that out. We also have a coffee table and one little club chair. It is a lovely room, plenty big for my husband and I. The curtains are definitely uh, blackout curtains. They have this piece underneath of the drape that is it blacks out everything, plus you have shears. So you can pull your shears across if you want, or you can darken the whole room if you want. Turn around slowly and take a look back through. It's quite nice, you guys, quite nice. And let's go out here on the balcony. Got two chairs, two ottomans. One ottoman is underneath that chair, and there's the other one. And a nice table with a blue flooring, and he washes this down every single day, you guys. Every single day he's out here washing this down. It is hotter than anything out here, yuck and humid, in the Panama Canal. We are now in the lake waiting to go over there to, we're halfway through Panama Canal going from the Pacific Ocean to the Atlantic Ocean, which is that way, which is where we will end up at this evening. Uh, this balcony is uncovered, as you can see, which we don't mind. And uh, especially for Alaska, I love an uncovered balcony because it becomes like a family, you know, people looking for wildlife and everything. Uh, you can see that the, some of the doors, most of the doors will open between the balcony. So if you have somebody, a relative or friends or whatever next to you, you can open this door. The whole panel does not come open, but just the back portion comes open and then hooks there, as you can see. Nice size balcony. I would say it's probably ooh, 10, 12 feet wide this way. And then from front to back, I would say it's, oh, I don't know, eight feet. Pretty good, pretty good size. So back into the cool room we go. Watch your step, got to step over the threshold here. And uh, personal safety, possibility of strong winds. Mind your step, do not climb or sit on the handrail. This is open, by the way. People have asked me this too. That is open when the handle is straight out that way. The handle is pushed down, it's locked and you can't open it. That's opened and that is locked and it is a heavy door and some slide, this slides nicely, some don't slide as nicely. <laughs> comes a tugboat over to get us, I think. Look at that. Here he comes. We're getting ready to go into the rest of the Panama Canal. Alrighty, you guys, that's it for this one. Uh, thank you all for stopping in here today. I love you all to bits, to bits, to bits. Uh, let me do my final words if I can get through them. I don't know whether I can get through them or not, but I will try. <laughs> and I'll say thank you all so much for stopping in here today. For those of you who have been struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love you all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.